What's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about our g and &E van and we're going to just walk through it and tell you where we started, what it's doing right now, and where we're going. Let's get started. So first we're going to start with the attic. Up here, this is a Ram 2500 Promaster van. Um, what's nice about these vans is they already come with the attic built in. It's not big, but it's enough to hold a few rags, especially for this kind of van size um, where you don't need a bunch of flavors of rags. It's, uh, it's pretty great. So we have some 12x12 Ultra and 12x12 Solids, and we have some 6x6 Diffusions, and we have some 4x4 Diffusions. So next up is my, technically what I like to call my set cart, but it's actually just a senior mag liner with a top shelf and a bottom shelf. The nice thing that I did with this was I was able to separate it by crates and boxes. So up here, we have two boxes of casters for our combos. We have a crate with um, fire extinguisher, hazer juice, hazer, dimmers, and I have a box of uh, C47s down here for our expendables. The next crate, the next two crates actually, are clamps, and the other one is for more of like miscellaneous grip stuff, so, so lollipop heads, we got our menace arm in here. We got some uh, baby plates. So kind of just like an assortment of grip stuff that you would use on a regular film shoot. The bottom shelf, oh, before I go down to the bottom shelf, this is what I like to call my gel holder. I've, I've seen a bunch of different gaffers use jelly rolls, some use crates, some use buckets. Um, I started to find, because I don't technically use uh, gels that often, I started to find that one of these like male uh, tube holders is actually better because you could just slide all of the gels in here that you need or at least the favorite ones you use on a daily basis and then just slide them all back in here it gets really compact stays all in there and then it, just put it in here and it's really neat now when you go to the bottom shelf um, I like to keep all my apple boxes down here in this van specifically we have four apple box families so that's Fulls, halves, quarters, pancakes, you know, the works. Um, sometimes I like to put my 4x4 speed rail in here just because it's a nice place to fit. And then we have some extra space. So if I ever need to bring on an Aperture 300X with a Leco lens, they both fit in here. Or if I need to bring on any other smaller square item, it'll fit in there. So we have that extra space for that. The front of the mag liner, what I love these handles for, I love hanging stuff. Um, so I have all of my grip clips on safety chains just hanging here on both sides. And sometimes depending on the shoot, like if we need a bunch of uh, uh, like Quasar Q-Lions, I have them all in bags that I could just hang over here as well. And that's my set cart. So up here on the wall, what we have right now is a temporary situation for our ladders. I have an eight step ladder and I have a six step ladder. Uh, we're already in talks with a welder to get a bracket made in. Um, we kind of just need to figure out what the best case scenario for it is. Uh, but ideally what I would love to do on this side and on this side with these rails is just have brackets so we can just slide stuff in for square stock, for speed rail, for ladders, um, and then it'll make it a little neater. But this is what we have now and this is what we're working with. and. As we go, we're obviously trying to improve. So this down here is our trusty muscle cart. So on here, we have 10 15 pound sandbags, which are these guys, and 10 25 pound sandbags, which are these guys. It's uh, the reason why I really like this muscle cart is because it fits through doors. It's uh, just the perfect size for anything. If you're shooting it downtown and you're getting in elevators, or even if you're just out in the landscapes of the desert and you just need to roll something really far around, uh, for like a 12 by 12 setup in the desert or something like that. So this whole section here is the right side of the wall. Um, everything's strapped in with these black ratchet straps. They're pretty heavy duty. Uh, we have combos on the walls. We're also hoping to get some sort of brackets for the combos to just like stack them up either on here or on the door. And then I like to have this space here either for the Dana Dolly if people need it on their shoot or if they order a generator, we just slide it on in here and strap it in. On this side of the wall, uh, what I love about this is we got all of our stands and all of the floppies and all of the stingers, pretty much everything you're gonna use on every single shoot you go on. Um, so this cart was actually a C-stand cart that I decided to put beefy babies, combos on the other side, low boys in the back, and stingers in the crates. Because in my opinion, usually when you're on set, as a gaffer for me, 
I tend to put all my lights on beefy babies or combos. I know some gaffers uh, don't mind putting their lights on C-stands, but for me personally, I just, it's just like a heavy object on top. Um, you know, you got your three legs that extend outwards, so you put all the pressure on those, uh, and it's easier for somebody not to tip it over. Especially like, you know, you have a $4,000 light on a stand, you don't want somebody to just walk by and knock it over and then it stops working the rest of the shoot, and that's a problem. While a flag, I understand why people would put that on a C-stand. You knock that over, you can pick it back up and keep using it. So next up, we have the C-stand cart. Um, what's really cool about this one is it has some really big wheels in the back and it acts like a hand truck where you just like tilt it back, just run it through doors. Um, it holds up to 12 C-stands. So this one has 10 standard C-stands and two baby C-stands in the front. The back has four baby pins so that you can mount extra C-stand arms, extra gobo heads. But what we have on it right now is a Matthews Mini Boom. So this is the last card on the van. Um, this one's a makeshift cart. It's actually a rock and roller for the 4x4 cart. We were gonna put in an order for a 4x4 cart, um, but when we were calling a bunch of places around, everybody was giving us the same amount of time. It was like four to six months before we could even get our hands on a 4x4 cart. So we did what we could, made a makeshift one with this, and it's been working properly right now. It's been doing really well, just you know, getting, getting these flags from point A to point B, which is all you really want with a 4x cart. But eventually in the future, we're planning on getting a proper one that'll fit in here and it'll be snug and still hold our 2x3s and our 18x24s as well. Here's another makeshift situation we have uh, with safety chains. Up here we have our speed rails and our square stock. Um, eventually we're planning on putting brackets over here so that we can separate the speed rail and the square stock and that way you can just slide it in and out without having to deal too much with the actual organization of it. The last thing I wanted to talk about inside the van is actually the floor. Um, a lot of people will have either a hardwood floor, they'll have just like the basic van floor on the inside but i was actually recommended this from somebody on instagram it's a carpet for the ram 2500 pro master um and it kind of just keeps things cozy in here allows wheels not to move too much um and i feel like the more it gets worn in the easier the carts roll when it's time to go also it kind of makes it look sleeker it, just like having the black in here with some of the black walls uh it just makes it look a little bit more modern a little sleeker and just keeps it nice over time. The other thing I like about it is it's easy cleanup. What I do on prep days is I'll pull all the carts out, I'll grab the vacuum and I'll just go in, get every corner that I can, and it's just an easy cleanup that way. Thank you so much for checking out this video. We're planning on coming out with some more content, so please subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. We're happy to answer all of that for you, and we'll see you on the next one.